Hi Lana, uh, welcome once again uh, to Learners Coach, a place where we delve deep into understanding the various career options and also we provide you with the marketable courses that you can always pursue in different industries. Now, you have a C- minus in your KCSE and you're wondering what are the best medical courses that you can pursue. Now, if you're in Kenya, you'll understand that these particular medical courses are normally offered uh, by the Kenya Medical uh, Training uh, College. And that's why I want to walk you through uh, the various uh, marketable courses that you can pursue with your C-, minus, right? So I'll simply look at this information from uh, the article that I wrote within our website. Uh, if you have time, I'll share the link within the description so that you read uh, in detail. So in summary, uh, in summary, you can see them here. Certificate in health records, certificate in orthopedic trauma, certificate in nutrition. So I want us to look at also the cluster subjects and the qualifications apart from having C-. minus, Because I've also received quite a number of uh, uh, questions regarding these. So the first one is certificate in health records and information technology. So you can see this one. Uh, here, you'll just need this minimum subject requirement, C- minus in English or Kiswahili, a discipline in biology or biological sciences, right? Uh, D- minus in maths, and of course, D plus in physics, uh, mathematics, and chemistry. So I'm bringing to you all this information, but the details are within the website. Uh, you can still go ahead and pursue uh, and check them. Now, as you can see, uh, I've also outlined uh, the other options that you might be required to achieve uh, for you to qualify for these particular uh, certificate courses. Number two in our list, we have certificate in orthopedic trauma medicine, right? So if you want to do some medical course with your C-, uh, then this could be one of them. And as you can see, this particular course will equip you with the knowledge and skills to diagnose and treat an array of conditions uh, in humans, musculoskeletal a musculoskeletal system. Okay, I'm not good at these particular terms of medicine or medical terms. I'm just here to give you uh, the qualifications. And of course, uh, here you require a minimum grade of C minus, C minus in English, you can see D plus in biology, right? Uh, also, you need to have obtained D plus in agriculture or chemistry, right? So all those options, you can see them. And of course, we have number three in our list with your C minus. Uh, we have this medical course known as Certificate in Nutrition and Dietics, right? So as a student, you'll be expected to pursue this particular uh, course if you want to become a nutrition a nutritionist, right? Uh, you'll be taking care of our health, advising us on the right... <laughs> food to eat, right? Here, you require a minimum of D plus in your KCSE and a D plus in English or Kiswahili, a D plus in biology or any biological sciences. Uh, you also need to have a discipline in chemistry or any physical science subject, right? right? There you go. Number four, we have certificate in medical uh, engineering. This is also another uh, marketable uh, course that you can pursue with your C minus, as you can see. Uh, with this particular certificate, you'll gain a knowledge, a knowledge and skills needed to install uh, or rather service or repair hospital systems or medical equipment, right? So you really need to have at least C- in your KCSE, and of course a C- in English or Kiswahili, a discipline in maths or any physical sciences with a discipline in biology or biological sciences. Uh, we are proceeding on well, and uh, number five, if you have your C-, minus, uh, this is another medical course that you can pursue, Certificate in Community Health Nursing. I tell you this is hot cake, right? Most people uh, get employed very fast with this, right? In fact, the current government is actually advocating uh, for this, right? Now, 
Uh, this course will train to participate and promote health activities within a, at the community level. Yeah. So you need to have this particular qualification. A C minus mean grade in your KCSE, C minus in English, Swahili, or any biological science. And of course, you need to have obtained a D plus in any of these subjects, be it chemistry, physical science, or physics, or mathematics. Uh, number six, uh, the best, uh, the other best medical uh, course that you can pursue with your C minus is certificate in health promotion for the deaf, right? So I, ideally this one you require a D plus, a mean grade, right? Of course with your C minus you can still enroll for it. So if you want to have some specific understanding of how to promote or to handle the deaf, right? You can always go, you know, you know these things come with passion. If you, are, you don't have passion, you better don't enroll for this particular. You can have the qualification but you don't have that, uh, you're not motivated to do it, right? No, uh, D plus in English or any other sign language, and of course a discipline in agriculture or maths or chemistry. Uh, number seven, we have a certificate in community health assistance. That's another medical course that you can pursue with your C minus, right? So you learn how to provide health education, promote access to health services, offer advocacy, and support health care delivery. A mid grade of C minus in your case is required. D plus in English or D plus in either English or Kiswahili or D plus in biology or any biological sciences. And of course, you need to have obtained a discipline in either maths, chemistry, physics, or any physical uh, sciences, right? And then we have number eight in our list with your C minus. The other best medical certificate to or medical course to pursue is certificate in environmental health science, right? So at the end of your training, you'll have enough knowledge to maybe handle toxic biological, chemical, and physical agents. So you can always uh, is you have heard of NEMA, right? National Environmental Management Authority. So these are, you, if you do this, you'll work with them, right? So ideally, you'll need to have a C minus in your KCSE. Of course, C minus in either English and Kiswahili, a D plus in biology or any biological science, and a discipline in uh, maths. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those are the best. C minus courses <laughs> that you can pursue if you are interested in doing these medical uh, courses. So I'll share the link within the description so that you read more about these particular uh, courses. As always, should you find this particular information interesting and informative, always be part of this particular uh, community. All right, thanks.